So, Runway and Pika released their lip sync feature recently. Today, I am going to test them both and find out which one is the best. It's most awaited feature that gives the AI models a voice they deserve. Just like me. Do you agree? Let's dive into my test plan. For our test, I've selected AI-generated three videos and three images from diverse sources like Runway, Pika, and Leonardo. Additionally, I've recorded dialogue using 11 labs. The fundamental principle for any lip-sync tool is that a human-like face must be distinctly visible. All my samples adhere to this requirement, although I intentionally introduced some variation to assess the limitations of both tools. So, now let's see how we can use the lip sync feature in Runway using the first set of sample video and audio. Go to the Generative Audio option from the Runway dashboard. It's very intuitive user interface. First section is to provide a text script. Additionally, we can directly upload a pre-recorded audio file in MP3 or WAV format. We will use this option for our demo. We can directly record an audio using Record Audio option. Here is an option to clone a voice, available for only pro users. Second section is to select a voice actor in case we are providing a text script. Here is a quick filter to find specific type of voice actors. Here below is a list of voice actors. We can hear the voice of the actor before selecting. I'm a little bit country and a little bit rock and roll. Third section here is to add a face. This section is optional as because if you just want to generate an audio from text script, this is not required. We can upload our own image or video for lip sync. Alternatively, we can choose from preloaded faces provided by Runway. The last section here is to view our result after successful generation. Now let's try it out with our sample video and audio. We will upload the audio file in first section. In the next section, let's upload our video file. Note that if the length of the video file is smaller than the audio file, Runway will automatically extend the video file to match the length of the audio file. After providing all necessary input, hit the Generate button. Give it a few seconds to work on it, and there you have it. Output video with the audio and lip sync is available in the last section. Let's play and check it. Welcome, Wanderer. Within this jungle lies a magical realm, the Veil of Verdant Arcana. Well done, Runway. Pika also provides a simple user interface. To access the lip sync feature, we have to upload an image or video here. As we upload, the option for lip sync will show up here. Let's get in there. The pop-up is very intuitive. The first section is to provide a text input as script for the audio. The drop-down provides a set of pre-loaded voice actors. We can play and test the voice before choosing one. Change in all things is sweet. Click on the Generate Voice button to get the audio generated. Alternatively, we can directly upload an audio file in the second section. We will try this option. Let's upload the audio file. Choose, Attach, and Continue. In the next screen, there is a quick preview of the video and audio uploaded. Click on Generate, and then wait for Pika to work on the request. We can see the progress under My Library. When done, let's play and watch. Within this jungle lies a magical realm. Wonderful! Before we dive into comparing the output, let us fast forward and complete the lip sync process using other samples in both Runway and Pika. Now that we executed all our test samples, it's time to review and rate the results received from both the tools. Our first sample is a video file, having some lip movement without any sound. It's a video of a wizard in an enchanted forest. Let me play the output from Runway. Welcome, Wanderer. 
Within this jungle lies a magical realm, the Vale of Verdant Arcana. First thing, if length of the video is shorter than the audio, Runway automatically extends the video to match both. This is a very useful addition. Overall lip movement is good, with addition of teeth, and we see realistic movement in cheek and chin area. Despite having long white beard on the character, Runway was able to identify the face correctly and resulted a decent lip sync. Let me rate 4 out of 5 for this. Next, let me play the output video from Pika. Within this jungle lies a magical realm. Almost same as Runway, difficult to find few small differences such as Pika's lip movement is little less compared to Runway. No teeth added, just filled with shadows, and also there is no additional movement added on the cheek and chin. However, the output is realistic and will go for 4 out of 5 for Pika as well. Second sample is an image file in anime style. It's a guy with gray hair and green eyes standing in front of a burning castle. Here is the output video from Runway. In the ashes of our once majestic home, we shall rise stronger, united by the flames that sought to end us. Runway clearly struggled with this anime style of image as it couldn't identify the lips for adding movement. It added a bit of movement to the head, eyes blink but overall, very poorly done. I will rate 1 out of 5. How about Pika? Let's see. In the ashes of our once majestic home, we shall rock. Pika added realistic lips along with synced movement. It would have been great if the lips were still in anime style. There is no movement on the head or eyes. Let me rate 3 out of 5 for this. Next sample is a video file in 3D animation style. It's a boy with blue eyes holding a magical feather and wondering about its power. Let's look at what Runway delivered. Tell me, Feather, what magic lies hidden within your delicate plumes? It has done a decent job. Limited movement in cheek and chin area. I will rate this as 4 out of 5. Let's review the result from Pika. Tell me, Feather, what magic lies hidden within your delicate plumes? As you can see, it's kind of a funny movement on his lip. This is definitely not what we are looking for. So, let's rate this as 2 out of 5. Next sample is a cinematic image file of a queen facing the camera. Here is the output from Runway. This castle holds secrets, forgotten truths buried deep within its walls. Tonight I unravel them, for my ancestors, for justice, and for the legacy that courses through my veins. It's a wonderful job done by Runway for this image. Very realistic lip movements, along with facial expressions. I am going for 5 out of 5 for this one. Let me play the output from Pika now. This castle holds secrets, forgotten truths buried... Facial expression is not as good as runway, but I see some realistic touch on hair. Additionally, the torches at the background got some animations. Very nice. Let's rate it 4 out of 5. Fifth sample is a video of a man wearing cap, having brown, black, and white beard. Runway couldn't process this file even after multiple try. It gave error. There was an error processing your export. Obvious score for this will be 0 out of 5. Let's play the output from Pika. Farming, my friend, has become a symphony of silicon and soil. For sure this specific test sample gave a challenge to both the tools. Pika processed it, but the lip sync is not realistic. I am not able to understand why this video was challenging, whereas both the tools did a good job with the test case number one with a face covered with beard. If you can figure this out, let me know in the comment box. Anyway, let me rate this two out of five. Our last sample is a cinematic image of a king smiling and inspiring his soldiers. And here is the output we got from Runway. All right, you motley crew. Time to earn those ugly mugs of yours some glory. Those scrubs across the way don't stand a chance against our well-groomed supremacy. It did the lip sync pretty well, adding some facial expressions. We can rate it four out of five. Let's see what Pika delivered. All right, you motley crew. Time to earn those ugly mugs. Pika struggled. Maybe because there are so many other faces in the background. It tried to animate them as well, as we see some flickering focus, therefore failed for the main character. Let me rate one out of five. Let us wrap it up with a quick summary. As I understand that Runway is focusing on the main character, adding realistic lip sync and facial expressions. Pika is looking at the whole canvas, Along with lip sync, it is trying to add animation to other elements as well. Pika lacks in facial expression, 
movement around cheek and chin. As per average score from my test cases, Runway leads marginally with rating of 3, compared to Pika having rating of 2.7 out of 5. Runway would have received a higher average rating if it could process the test case number 5. Can these lip sync tools be included in our content creation workflow? Absolutely. For simple use cases, they will do wonders. So go ahead and make use of these tools for your content creation. This is just the beginning. They will eventually improve upon the shortcomings. What you think about the lip sync feature integrated with our favorite Runway and Pika? Let me know in the comment box. That's all for today, folks. Hope it helps. Please subscribe, like, and share. Check our other AI-related videos. I will see you soon in the next video.